Do you have a client with a Facebook group or perhaps a Facebook group of your own and you've been really wanting to promote it? You've been teased with some ads in the newsfeed, seeing other groups getting promoted, but you haven't seen how you can do it yourself. Well, stay tuned. That's what I'm going to show you in this video. My name's Jody Millard and I'm the founder of the Elite Ad Manager Certification, where I train and equip women all around the world to successfully and confidently run Facebook ads for clients. Now, this is my group, Ad Manager Adventures. So it's a bit meta here, isn't it? So what we're going to do is create an ad to promote this group. Now, there's a couple of things you will want to look at here. I have actually logged on as my page. You can promote the group from your personal ad account if your personal account on Facebook is an owner of the group or from your page if your page is also an admin of the group. Now I'm on my page here in the top right corner, that's my page icon. If I click on that and I go over to my personal profile, I'll just show you how this looks to start with, but I'm going to launch the ad from my ad account and my personal, uh, sorry, my business page. So here, top right, it's my personal account. I can click on the three dots here and click on promote group. Now here you'll see a preview of the ad and that's my personal profile. So it's coming from my personal account. Now I can change which ad account it's going to be billing, I can also change what I want to have in the description. I can also change different images. And what else I can do is use a post. And super interesting, when you use a post, it's going to pull up posts from your personal profile. So that's how you can do it using your personal profile. I wouldn't really recommend that at all. We want it to typically always go from our page and we want to use our, um, you know, our main ad account as well, not our personal ad accounts. So I'm now going to select the account and I'm going to go back over to my page. Now you'll see up in the top right corner, I'm back on my page profile and it's come up with this uh, that it can't preview the ad. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to exit that page and I'm going to go back to my group, click on the group. Okay, back on my page with the three dots, click on the dots and promote group. Now, if you don't see those three dots at the moment, perhaps it hasn't rolled out to you at this time. It has been something that seems to have been rolled out here and there for a little while. Uh, so I've got it here now, so keep an eye out for that feature. Now our ad preview is coming up from my page, right? It still says Jody Millwood, that is my page, but it's that different image and it's there, my page. So it's pulled in content here. Again, if I click on use a post, this time it's going to go and look at the posts from my page this time instead of my personal profile. So I can again update, let's just remove those couple of things and we'll see how it updates over in our ad preview here. See, so they're gone. So you can just change the description here for your group. You can upload a new image. So I'm going to upload an image that I just created. Perfect. Now you can do some targeting here. Up here again, it's got the correct ad account that I'm actually wanting to use. If you've got multiple ad accounts connected, you'll make sure you select the right one. Uh, you can uh, do targeting, some levels of targeting here. You can select custom audiences. Uh, let's see, see all. So there's saved audiences that you may have. <laughs> you see, I've got a few there. <laughs> The duration. So obviously this isn't an ongoing ad. We've just got a limited lifetime budget here. So it's seven days, it's going to end on the 21st of November, $35, uh, seven five is 35, so that's $5 a day. I'll just launch it at that and see how that goes. Uh, here we've got no pixel. We want to have a pixel on there because we want to be able to see if people end up joining the group and then possibly going and opting in or purchasing something. You'll select your payment method, obviously, and then you'll be able to press publish. 
Now I've adjusted the description there to what I want. As we can see here, the button down the bottom says boost group now. So it's actually not going to be a conversion campaign. It's just going to be an engagement campaign. That's typically whenever Facebook refers to boost posts, uh, they're engagement campaigns. So we'll see how this performs. I have clicked here to boost group now. So we just have this confirmation. Now I'm going to click on go to ad center so that I can actually go and see what it looks like in our campaigns. So over here in ads manager, we can see it's here at the top. It's been pulled in here. Here's the campaign. Here's our ad, it's in review. And there it is. If I click on preview, that's how it's looking there. And we've just got one placement. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to come back over here into the ad set and I'm going to have a look here at our targeting because when I boosted it before, I didn't even set any targeting, I don't think. So we'll go down, it's going to audience, it's using advantage plus audience. I didn't do any targeting at the moment, it's just going to Australia. Um, I'll change, put in United States. So we see here with the placements, it's gone to, it's defaulted to manual placements. We can't change anything there. So it's only going to be going to the Facebook newsfeed. Over here, I'm going down to the ad now. Let's just make sure that I expect it. And here I see, I don't know why this website events box is not checked. I turned on the pixel over on the ad. So I would expect here that it should be showing. So I'm going to check it here. Destination, it's got the Facebook group here, Ad Manager Adventures, which is fantastic. So excited to see how this runs. Now, when it comes to looking at performance, we can pull in some columns here that are particularly uh, for Facebook groups. So if I click on performance and clicks, and clicked on customize columns, and here we've got these columns which we can pull in. Join group requests and cost per join group request. Again, because this is an engagement campaign or it's getting boosted rather than being a conversion campaign, I'm not sure how this will go. So as in the world of Facebook ads, we're always testing. Now I'm just going to move this up to the top here. It's got results there. So I'm just going to pop them under results. So it's nice and handy there at the start of my column and I'm going to say group report apply so that way we can see here from our ad if people request to join the group and how much it's cost to join the group so if you have a Facebook group or have a client with a Facebook group then get in here test see how it performs for you